Hello, everybody. This is the Starving Martian and uh, Jeebs. Jeebs, man, we, we gotta have a talk. Eh, what about? Jeebs, it's about you selling uh, unlicensed alien weaponry to my other action figures. Says who? Says everyone, Jeebs. I mean, it's obvious. Uh, look, the, the penguin's walking around with a Series 4 deatomizer. <laughs> it's just, this has got to stop, Jeebs. Eh, he could have gotten that anywhere. Oh, Jeebs, Jeebs, you're lying to me again, man. You know how much I hate it when you lie to me. Hey, hey, wait. Jeebs, it's for your own good. Ah, oh, you stupid son of... Do you know how much that stings? Oi. All right, everybody. This, as I said, is the Starving Martian. And today, obviously, we are taking a look at yet another action figure from the Men in Black toy line 1996 from Galoob. This one is Jeebs, the alien pawn shop owner, which means he's an alien who owns a pawn shop, not an owner of an alien pawn, porn, porn shop? Yeah, pawn shop. Oi. Anywho. So if you've seen the movie, you know him, you love him, or you hate him, but either way, you know him. Um, this is Jeebs, as played by, I believe his name is Tony Shalhoub, uh, the guy who would later go on to play Monk on TV. Uh, figure looks absolutely nothing like him, as you can see. But, uh, this is a fun figure from the Men in Black line, and it has a couple really neat gimmicks. You've already seen one of them. There's this, uh, button right here on his, uh, desk. You push it to blow his head off. Oh, I overflipped. There we go. And um, he doesn't actually lose his head like he does in the movie, but it does become this nasty red pulpy mess. Another push of the button, and his head begins to regenerate. Amazingly, his cigarette um, regenerates with it. You can see his brain sticking out the top there, and his ears coming out, and his eyes bugging off his face. And there's his uh, mug back and restored. So uh, that's the main action this guy has. Um, how many other figures do you know of that have uh, disintegrating head action features? How many figures do you know of that come with a full ashtray? Uh, yeah, you wouldn't get away with uh, the cigarettes in any toy line today, but uh, this was the 90s and who knew who cared. Um, so as far as details go on this guy, well, he's got um, this uh, racing sheet that he's reading. With such headlines as Jimmy the Nose Picks and uh, Jockey Wed's Horse. He's got a um, notepad here for keeping track of what he's selling and to who. He's got um, a calendar with the very sexy Miss April. And uh, with a little UFO flying over her head. And if I've counted the sheets remaining on the calendar, I think his calendar only extends to like August. That's odd. Uh, maybe he's on Centurion calendar time. I don't know. Uh, here's some of his wares that he has up for sale, including some rings, a camera, a uh, big mouth, big mouth Billy Bass, and uh, there's them Rolexes that Jay's going to be talking to him about. Uh, on this side, we see some half-eaten pizza, some I don't know what's, and some more I don't know what's. Uh, we can find out that he offers top cash value and that trade-ins are welcome. And then sticking out of the side here is the uh, back end of a rat. Why the back end of a rat would be sticking out of the side of his desk, I don't know. And frankly, I don't give a rat's back end. But as far as why it's here on the toy, it's because that's what activates the other gimmick. Okay, so we've already seen his um, blast away head. Now... Uh, if you remember, uh, his shop held um, alien weapons, some high-powered guns, and he kept them well hidden. So what you're going to do is you're just going to spin this rat's bottom, and there you have it. There's the guns he's been uh, holding out on. So um, this is really cool because these are not just decorative. These guns actually are removable. And there's a little peg here, a little hole in each gun to keep it in place. Now he has a hole in his hand, so it looks like he should be able to hold these weapons. But uh, I think the paint in there 
it's just um, painted it shut a little bit and so you struggle to force this in but even if you remove all the guns um, there's still a little indentation here the shape of each weapon so you know where to put them and if you have any other um, men in black figures here's um, agent K you can arm them up they'll hold the weapons very nicely so even if um, you have no use for uh, Jeebs at all, you still um, can use this playset uh, as uh, a weapon depot. Um, here's a little size comparison. I think they scale pretty well together. And as I said, this will just pop back on. See? It popped back on. There it goes. And we'll flip that around. Alright, now as far as the box that he came in, I'm going to take a quick look at that. There's a couple interesting things here. Uh, we can see from the front that his name is Jeebs. He has regenerating heads and rotating heads according to that. Um, side of the box tells you blast head to see him grow another. Rotate display case to reveal removable alien weapons. And uh, here he is again on the back showing off uh, the same features. And it has a little write-up on him. Jack Jeebs. Did you know his name was Jack? Now you do. Uh, Jack Jeebs is the low-life selling miscellaneous junk at the pawn shop. The perfect cover for an alien arms dealer with the ability to regrow heads. And on the bottom of the box, here's his alien profile. We find his name is Jack Jeebs, true form, alien arms dealer. Pawn shop sale items include electrostatic deoxygenator, de de thank you, and reverberating carbonizer with mutating capacity. Disgusting characteristics include ability to grow head. I'm not sure if that's disgusting. That actually sounds very useful. And human disguise pawn shop owner. Um, he seems to be worth um, two alien points, whatever that's good for. And uh, in this shot here, you can see actually a few minor differences between the, um, uh, the, the product shot and the actual item. Um, the guns here look like they're going to be a lot shinier. Now they had that chrome kind of look going with for them. And what I find really interesting is the calendar is different. Um, it's got a different um, bathing suit model. And it says 1997. You know, so you see this lady here is in a red bikini. And um, Miss April here is in a uh, blue one piece. I don't know if the bikini woman was too uh, scandalous. And they changed it to say April instead of 1997. Possibly to make the toy more timeless. I don't know. Um, in either case, that's about all there is to say about Jeebs. Except that I do recommend this figure. It's one of the more fun figures in the line. It makes a good um, shelf display. Uh, the uh, feature is simple, but it works well. Let's do that again. Oh, my head! Oh, that hurt! Don't do that! <laughs> that's great. And, um... You know, and, and it comes with plenty of uh, oops, extra weapons for your other figures. And he's pretty darn cheap. Um, you can easily pick this guy up either eBay or Amazon for between $10 to $15 brand new. So, if you like Men in Black, if you like the movie, if you like Jeebs, go ahead, order yourself one. Um, you can thank me for it later. And until then, this has been The Starving Martian. Hoping you guys enjoyed this look at another MIB figure. We'll catch up with you later. Until then, keep watching the sky.